So in case of dynamic memory allocation, uh, the memory is allotted dynamically and uh, explicitly and uh, there is also memory release. So uh, in dynamic memory, in uh, starting memory allocation, suppose if I take int uh, AR, so uh, I'm not only uh, declaring an array, but uh, memory is uh, statically allotted before execution and it is it happens automatically. And because the memory allocation happens automatically and memory release will also be automatic. So here allotment, uh, memory allotment, allotment, and release are automatic they are done automatically so i need not do anything as a programmer so because they happen allotment happens automatically release happens automatically but in case of dynamic memory allocation i told you the memory allocation is explicit i am saying i am requesting the operating system please allot uh, some memory of uh, 2000 bytes for me so a lot memory of 2000 bytes this is explicit request so when uh, explicit request is made memory allotment is uh, made to uh, memory allotment is made and the starting address is uh, written when memory allotment is made memory allotment made here means uh, it is actually uh, what happens here memory allotment made means uh, from uh, normally memory is under the control of operating system so the memory now uh, will go from operating system account to your program account program account so when memory allotment is made it will go into from operating system account to program account now if memory is released it will go back into operating system account so that the operating system can allot that memory to other process or for its own purpose but when it is explicit uh, when it is explicit we are uh, the memory uh, account is transferred from os to program then uh, the memory release must also be explicit memory release memory release must also be explicit means uh, we have to do it explicitly after the use of requirement of that area is over memory release must be made explicitly must be made explicitly now uh, for uh, memory allotment we use a function uh, we use the, the function uh, for memory allotment the function we use uh, is uh, malloc this is uh, the function to allot uh, to allot memory we use is malloc similarly uh, memory release is also done with the help of a function in c language so the function we use uh, uh, it is free free you have to give pointer name so uh, pointer suppose if p is having uh, 2000 bytes starting from 3600 so when we say uh, p uh, this malloc function now 2000 bytes is allotted starting address is stored then uh, the memory is transferred from os account to program account now when i say free uh, p now that means from 3600 whatever number of bytes given to p now that memory is released and it will send back to the uh, it is just account transfer memory will be there only but it is account transfer from program account it will go back to operating system account so that is uh, the free function free function what it does is it will release the memory which is allotted explicitly by malloc only for malloc we have to use free so malloc is used to allot memory area explicitly and in uh, uh, then uh, as uh, to release the memory area um, to uh, release the memory area uh, allotted by malloc we use a free function free function what it does is it will release uh, the memory area that is held by a pointer releasing the memory area is nothing but transferring back the uh, memory uh, from uh, program account to the operating system account so that the operating system can use that memory area uh, to all uh, use that memory area for some other process or for its own purpose so this is uh, the memory release but uh, most of the times in c program we face a problem called memory leakage we face a problem called memory leakage 
memory leakage so memory leakage is uh, the situation in program where the programmer allots the memory area using mlloc programmer allots the memory area using mlloc so when uh, memory is allotted uh, suppose some uh, 10000 of uh, 10000 bytes of memory is allotted then it will be transferred from it is like money transfer so 10000 bytes of uh, uh, memory is allotted from os to program then later the user forgets to release the memory area not user programmer forgets to release the memory area now uh, os is, uh, the account is uh, now under program now program is terminated now os is not aware of the allotment made so it will be uh, still under the account of uh, the program which is not there so it, this is uh, uh, this is no man's land this is no man's land that means that memory is for nobody and uh, it is blocked because uh, it is only when it is in uh, the account of operating system uh, it can be used if it is not in the account of operating system uh, but it is account of uh, the program which is not there then that is left unused this memory area whatever allotted so uh, suppose if 10000 bytes of heap is allotted here 10,000 bytes of heap is allotted uh, from OS account to the program. Now it is not released, so it is uh, uh, it is not under usage. Now this becomes unused. This becomes unused. Now if it is your personal computer, uh, if some memory is uh, left unused, uh, then suppose if you restart the system or switch off the system it will be uh, again uh, given to the given back to the operating system but uh, suppose if it is a server which is never switched off it is going to be a problem so it is uh, uh, now in no man's account this is uh, called as memory leakage so memory leakage is the situation where the memory is allotted explicitly with the help of uh, mlloc function but it is not released explicitly when it is not released explicitly it is left unused so that's why we say it is leaked when some water is leaked it is left unused some similarly when memory is leaked it is left unused uh, so suppose uh, if the same program is repeatedly executed then each time that chunk of memory is left unused and uh, that uh, unused memory area keep on grows and finally it will lead to uh, a situation called starvation it will lead to a situation called starvation so memory leakage is uh, uh, a situation in program where some part of the memory is left unused now if uh, that process is keep on repeated memory leakage leads to starvation starvation is situation where there is no free memory area for the operating system to start a pro new program or the operating system to run itself because the operating system is also a program and uh, it also requires huge memory and uh, that memory will be uh, uh, at different stages it will be using different some different uh, amounts of memory uh, so when there is a starvation situation prevailing in the system then there will not be any free memory area for operating system to consume and proceed so uh, even there is a possibility that the operating system may get hanged so this is uh, the memory leakage problem very big problem in uh, uh, programming very big program uh, problem in programming which is memory leakage so this is where the programmer must be careful this is where the other languages will have advantage because the memory uh, is not uh, memory allotment and release is not under the control of the programmer uh, of course in java suppose if you take uh, memory allotment is compulsory but release is done automatically by uh, separate thread it will be taken care of. but uh, in c the memory allotment and release are uh, uh, should be done explicitly so uh, there is a possibility of memory leakage and there is a possibility of starvation so this is the big problem so one uh, uh, golden rule you have to remember uh, uh, when you are uh, having dynamic memory allocation is always use free with malloc if you don't use free with malloc then it will it is going to cause memory leakage and it is going to be a big problem